Hey everyone, Gary Simon here, of course, Cetro.com, and yes, I have brought back design challenges once again, except this time it is open to everyone and you don't have to be a Corsetra Pro member. That was a big failure. So uh, I did make a change and the change that I made this time is you can only submit one entry. So uh, one entry per user, the system won't let you post more than that. Um, and that's simply because I need myself to have time and the ability to rate these and not get bogged down with hundreds of entries. So uh, you'll for, for this uh, uh, challenge right here, you're going to have two weeks. Uh, it does let you edit your entry. So, you know, if you think of something else or something better, you can do so and you can submit one entry. All right. So this entry right here is design an app onboarding screen. Oh, but real quick, before we begin, make sure you check out my site, CourseCetro.com, where you're going to find a bunch of courses on modern design and development. A lot are free, and the others you can access for the cost of buying me like a six-pack each month. That's it. Now, also, it probably wouldn't hurt to subscribe here on YouTube, and be sure to make sure the notifications are turned on. All right, let's get back to it. So, as mentioned, I... I recently released that 35 minute tutorial on creating an app onboarding process with Ionic. I didn't really cover the design. I just kind of did the, the technical implications of it. But that gave me the idea, though, of making this design challenge t with tasking you with just uh, handling the design aspect of a single onboarding slash tutorial screen for a fictional app. All right, so what I want you to do is uh, here in the description on YouTube, I've linked directly to this challenge page right here. And check this out and take a look at the design requirements because uh, you will not be eligible to win if you screw this up. So this onboarding screen will be based on an app that's for rating alcoholic beverages. Uh, so do not create or show a logo or app name, so you don't have to worry about that. We don't want that present in this slide. The slide title will be find the best alcohol and the slide description will be users like you rate the alcohol they're drinking and this makes it easy to find the good stuff. I want both of these included, it must be included, okay? And you must also include some type of unique illustration or element in your slide that illustrates the idea of finding alcohol, which is the purpose of this particular slide. So what I'm talking about though, if you get onto an inspiration and you click on these, these are just some examples of these onboarding slash tutorial screens that I'm talking about. Uh, so of course, this has just a very simple, unique illustration that has to do with a light bulb and this one's about discover. This is about news. And this is about uh, be inspired, be entertained, has people happy or whatever, it's relevant. And so basically, I, you're tasked with coming up with some, some type of visual that uh, illustrates the concept of finding something, or if you want to make real specific, finding alcohol or something. All right, so this, I need you to submit your entry by July 7th of 2017. Uh, that's two weeks from now. And then also, this is very important too. Now these aren't requirements, but they're suggestions. Uh, it makes my job a lot easier when I have better uh, you know, submissions to be able to judge. So like I mentioned here, the whole purpose of these design challenges is to help you get better at design. So in this case, it's UI design, user interface. So there's a few good design principles and fundamentals that you really should consider when you're designing UIs, not just for this, but for any for any uh, occasion. So first is using good white space, which means like margin and padding. You know, like right here, look at this. This this is a user interface essentially. This page here, this layout. Uh, you can see that this text right here, it's not smashed up against the edge of this containing element. That's white space. All right. So I uh, use good color, and this means using colors that are relevant to the subject and colors that also complement each other. And then color that it can also very quickly become a big cluttering mess of your design if you're adding too many colors. So it's usually a good idea to limit the amount of UI colors that you have. Like for my site, for instance, I kind of go between this uh, this teal slash turquoise color and this blue and light gray and white. That's it. You don't want to add a bunch of colors just because you can. I uh, also use good contrast. So if people can't see your important UI elements, you know, like your buttons or your text, et cetera, uh, 
they're going to have a hard time seeing them. And then this is obviously bad. Also use visual hierarchy. And when it comes to design in general, not just UI design, there's something called visual hierarchy. And this is essentially kind of what helps place prominence on uh, when, when you have various elements that are a part of a design composition. So size, position, and color, these all help establish visual hierarchy. Let me t show you an example real quick. Uh, for instance, uh, visual hierarchy here, first we have an element that, you know, it's very simple. It helps communicate the idea of discovering or, or enlightenment, and that's that light bulb. It's very big. It's centered here. And so this is, you know, one of the most important elements. Uh, next, we have discover right here, this, this title. Then we have this uh, paragraph here where it's obviously it falls less on the pri priority side in terms of uh, its visual hierarchy because they're using you know a smaller font size and it's kind of relegated to the bottom portion. Um, so all these things help create a nice concise design. Otherwise, if everything is given equal importance, equal size, there's not good visual hierarchy. And in other words, it means your design sucks. <laughs> All right. So also finally use simplicity. And this is something I find a lot with uh, people who are new to, de to design. There are just, they're overusing effects like crazy just because they can, you know, just because you have so many tools and effects to use doesn't mean you should use them. So, you know, keep things simple, avoid overusing effects like drop shadows and glows and outlines and strokes, etc. Usually more often than not things, I. Uh, they're best when they're kept simple. For instance, I mean, just look at this. This is actually from Google. So a guy who's making well over probably six figures, this is what he designed. Same thing here, extremely simple. So that doesn't mean you always have to go so simple that you're just, you know, you have nothing else going on. Um, but if you're new, try to keep things simple more often than not. All right, so I'm looking forward to the entries. Go ahead, um, if you're just watching this, you may see this. Go ahead and be the first guy to submit an entry. Again, just one entry per person. And in terms of prizes, you get one month of Corsetra Pro free, which is located right here. And what this simply means is that you have access to all of the courses that I have available here that are listed as pro courses. And uh, within about seven to 10 days, there will be a new pro course added here. Uh, all right, so I'm looking forward to the entries and I'll see you soon. Uh, by the way, also I do review these entries at the end if you're new to design challenges back when I had them up before and I rate everybody's entry and I do a quick video overview and basically pick a winner. All right, I'll talk to you later.